we have a project uh, to the tune of more than 500 million euros. And this commitment actually is a testament to the trust and the confidence and the certainty on our part that your country has truly tremendous potential for development. And I'm delighted that I'm going to be able to visit a couple of the joint projects tomorrow. For instance, we are going to visit a school for vocational training tomorrow, a school, a measure that is uh, promoted and supported by us that is dedicated to vocational training of young people. Subsequently, we will continue our trip and travel to Livingston, and I'm going to attend the signing of financing agreements for the further support of water supply, and we're delighted that Germany is going to um, provide another 10 million euro in order to improve uh, water management and water supply. It lends a contribution to uh, the water supply of uh, the population when the level of water is low. Water harvest, but extending to something else in terms of uh, agriculture and food production. Uh, when we manage, we harvest our water. Um, and is available for human consumption, for animal consumption, but also for our agricultural production. Uh, and in here, I'm talking about uh, irrigation, so that uh, we can improve our yields on the existing hectare that we have, so we don't cut more trees to clear fields, but we can, in the same hectare, produce two crops in a year, which will save clearance of more land for agriculture, very important. So precision irrigation is excellence, and I talked about it in our private meeting, so that uh, we can also introduce mechanization, which will allow us to increase our yields per hectare. Instead of the 2.8 uh, tons per hectare for most of our small scale farmers, we can increase this to seven, eight tons per hectare. Commercial farmers in this country, excellence, do uh, eight, nine tons per hectare and two crops a year in the same hectares. So the demand for food, demand for industrial, agricultural, raw materials, basically if we irrigate, when we irrigate, we'll be able to mitigate on climate change.